So I don't really care what game you play the most, whether it be Apex or Overwatch or 2K or Valorant or Warzone. It really doesn't matter what game you play because I feel like we could all tell that in 2023, gaming just isn't what it used to be, especially multiplayer games. Something has shifted. Gaming as a whole, bro, has just not been feeling the same. Is it just me? Or am I talking facts? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Some people might say that games in the past couple of years have just been getting progressively worse. Some might say how the developers are not really, you know, putting as much effort into games and the content isn't there. Some people might say how we're just getting older, bro. And, you know, games just don't feel as fun as they used to because we're growing up. And, of course, when you're playing a game at 14 or 13 years old with your friends, it's not going to feel the same when you're playing a game at 22 or 23 or even 24. It's not going to feel the same, so that could be a reason as well. And then there are other people who say that things like skill-based matchmaking has ruined games because companies now focus on making money and keeping players engaged in games as long as they could possibly be engaged so that they could spend more money on skins. So there's really a lot of conspiracy theories going around about why gaming just doesn't hit the same. I think that games are not as fun as they used to be. And honestly, for being real, I feel like it's a combination of everything I just mentioned. It's not just one specific thing because on one end, right, games are not really providing the content they need to provide. Let's take a look at Apex, for example. You guys know how I used to play Apex 24-7. I used to make Apex content basically every day. And I've stopped doing that because the game itself just isn't what it used to be and I don't want to force myself and act as if Apex Legends in 2023 is the same Apex Legends in 2019 or 2020. It's not the same. Apex just had a couple of recent events, right? And all of those events were hated mainly because the game didn't really offer new content. You know, it was all about the skins and all about trying to get players to spend money. I mean, we just had an event that has a freaking weapon skin for $160. It's locked behind a $160 paywall. Like, be for real, how is a skin locked behind a paywall of $160, but a full AAA game in 2023 costs $60? That just doesn't make sense, and it really exposes what companies prioritize, which is making money. They don't care if you don't have a good experience playing the game. If you spend your money, they're happy. And that's what most gaming companies focus on nowadays. We can even observe similar trends in games like Overwatch and Warzone. Even though I like to play Overwatch and Modern Warfare 2, not Warzone really, but I like to play Modern Warfare 2 and Overwatch from time to time. In terms of content, Overwatch 2 is basically a reskinned Overwatch 1, so I could imagine that players who, you know, really enjoyed Overwatch 1 and played the crap out of Overwatch 1 maybe expected to see something a bit more refreshing in Overwatch 2. I mean, I don't know for sure because I was never really a big Overwatch 1 player, but I could imagine if I spent like 5 years, 6 years playing a game, I would appreciate if the sequel was just a little bit more, you know, fresh and more innovative. That's just my thoughts. Warzone 2 is a completely different story because the game is just trash. They changed up the base version of Warzone 1 and now they have this this kind of like PUBG meets Apex meets Warzone simulator and simply put, players just do not like Warzone 2. And why don't players like Warzone 2? Well, it's because the developers who made Warzone 2 were trying to appeal to casual players. So they took away the movement and stuff, all of the things that the sweats would really utilize in Warzone 1, and they made Warzone 2 a lot more slow paced. Why would they do that? Well, because casual players would be more inclined to play the game and spend more money on skins if the game is more optimized for them. So again, it's all about making money. I really feel like companies are just focusing more on making money as opposed to making games fun. But then we have the argument about how we're just getting older in life. This is true. This is 100% true as well. I'm sure you guys could relate, but when I think back to when I was younger, playing games like, you know, Black Ops 2 or Destiny or all of those old school FPS games, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, when I was playing those games with my friends and I was like 14 years old, 15 years old, time would just fly by because I was younger, I really had no real issues in life. So playing a game back then was like, you know, so much easier because we were younger you know we just didn't really care about life as much but now in my 20s my early 20s of course it's gonna feel like you know i can't really invest as much time as i would like in gaming and i don't even really want to invest as much time because i have other things i like as well like gaming is in my life anymore so it's just not gonna feel the same. So growing up definitely I feel like has a part to play in it for a lot of us. Games were just a lot more fun when we were younger. 
And you know, and that's just facts. But then we have the third reason. Features like skill-based matchmaking in games like Warzone and Apex and basically every single multiplayer game now has some level of skill-based matchmaking. I also believe that this is ruining gaming for a majority of players because you could say what you want. For some reason, skill-based matchmaking is this big controversial topic. I don't really care. My views on skill-based matchmaking is simple. I don't want to have to go into a game and sweat every single time. Sometimes I want to just chill and play against butts. That is just the reality of it and if anybody else tells you otherwise, they're lying to you. But in the same breath, right, I also don't want to just play against butts 24 7. I still want to have a challenge. So I would like to have like a randomized mix of, of games. And I think that's why, you know, gaming companies should focus on having matchmaking based on connection instead of skill. But they'll never do that because they'll actually lose money. Because as soon as a casual player hops into a match and they get destroyed by a sweat, they're going to stop playing the game. So they're trying to protect casual players. So you know what, with all those arguments I just gave you guys, you know, us getting older, companies not focusing as much on the fun factor in games and features like skill-based matchmaking making games less fun, I feel like all of that is contributing to overall lack of enjoyment of video games. And there's also something else. There's also something else as well. In 2023 guys, video games are not just competing with other video games if we're being real. They're also competing with social media sites like Twitch and YouTube and TikTok and Twitter. Like there's so many things that people could do on social media right now that would take their time away from gaming so there's just so much other distractions outside of just playing a game like 10 15 years ago guys twitch definitely wasn't as big as it was tiktok didn't even exist youtube was still there but i just feel like youtube definitely wasn't as popping like 10 15 years ago so i just also feel like there's so much more competition right now which makes it even more difficult for people to really be invested in games and spend 10 hours a day playing a game because you have so much other things to occupy your time you could watch a twitch stream uh, uh, a Kai Sinat stream, a Eden Rush stream, you could watch your favorite, you know, stream or play a video game. And sometimes, when I'm playing a game, I much rather watch somebody play Apex as opposed to play Apex myself get pitched and my entire night is ruined, right? So, I don't really think there's one singular reason why games aren't as fun as they used to be. I think it's multiple reasons. But what game companies need to do, I think, is just focus more on making video games fun. Because if a game is just naturally fun to play, people are gonna wanna play it. Let's just stop with all of these tactics and all of these features to increase retention and to make people wanna spend money. Just make a fun game. Because every single time a game popped off, every single time a game was super successful, it's because it was just fun. It's only after these games make all of this money and they attract all of these players because they were fun, then these companies want to kind of take a different route and try to keep making money and introduce all of these tactics to make even more money. Once you stop focusing on the fun factor right, and you start to focus more on making money, that's when the game just goes to trash. And we could see that right now with so many games. I don't really have to give you guys any more examples. So that's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below.